In other news, Austin, Landon Tangwall's back. He uh, was back from injury. Um, he's one of the high, higher-ranked players from the class of 21. Um, and uh, he's he's back and he's healthy, so it's good to see. Um, I believe he was the guy that signed the NIL deal with, what was it, Mike Motti's? Uh, yeah, the NIL uh, found like foundation, I guess you would call it. Um, in Lions, a, Lion, Lions Pride, I think. Yeah, yeah. So, um, he's back. Or, uh, he's healthy. Lion, Lion, Light, Light, uh, Lion Legacy Club, excuse me, I think. Yeah. So, yeah. So he's back, which is good to see. Um, I like he's obviously going to be a, a key factor, um, on this next team. So, what do you think about uh, what do you think about that, Austin? I mean, he's he's going to be one of the one of the key linemen on our team. So it's it's he's gonna play a huge role in uh the way this offense, you know, functions this this year. So Yeah, I mean obviously it's good to get it back. I, I thought he was I thought he was really developing pretty well uh before he, he ended up getting uh hurt in warm ups and, and shut down for the rest of the year. Um we, we never saw him play again. Um so hopefully he's one hundred percent. Hopefully he's full go. It does seem to be like that's the case. Um, you know, obviously it's kind of been a little while and he was very, very limited or out in spring and all this kind of stuff, but he's a good player. Um, I think with him coming back, being healthy, I think if they can stay healthy for the most part, I think their depth on offensive line is going to be by far the best that it's been uh, since James got here, um, you know, 10 years ago. So happy to see him come back. There's definitely probably a bit more heated competition uh, at, at guard now since his, since his absence, but he's a really good player. I think he'll fit back in. I think he'll definitely probably be a starter uh, probably on the left side. Um, But we'll, uh, we'll kind of see how all that plays out and how things go in summer camp, but great to get him back. He's very, very good player, Um, big, strong guy. Um, And obviously he was, he was putting some things together uh, before he went out on injury. So, uh, you know, we'll see how that progresses and we'll we'll look to get him back at, at full go in, in camp and, and be 100% ready to go for the season. But good, definitely good news there. Well, however, you, yeah, go, yeah, go ahead. ahead. I was going to, I was going to transition to what I, what I really want to talk about, which is this upcoming weekend. So finish the, finish the thought. Well, Bryce Safner, you know, he left. So we could have him for one more year, but we're not going to get it, unfortunately. So, uh, it's good to have Tangwall back because, you know, we, we lost an O-lineman, so we need and want all the O-lineman we can get. I mean, Tangwall would have been good for the season, but it's it's good to have him back practicing healthy and uh, getting ready for the upcoming season because, you know, he's got Birchmeyer and Williams behind him uh, pushing to get position. So um, yeah, I wish, they're, I wish they're, Bryce they're in a good spot. Back, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I wish I wish Efner was coming back because you know he was a key guy. Uh, he was a big guy, <laughs> six five, two ninety four. I mean, that's 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 a re- that's that's a really big lineman to have. So um, sucks to see him leave, but it's nothing against Bryce. It's just you know you hate to see you hate, you hate to see these guys leave because it's uh yeah so. And I think I think with Efner too, and then we'll we'll transition into the upcoming recruiting weekend, which is super super important. A um, lot of big time targets that I want everybody to really be aware of. But I, I think Bryce was just kind of done. I think he was kind of banged up. I think he, he was probably one of those things where you're kind of tired of waking up and you're you know you're a young guy, 22, 23 years old, and you're feeling beat up all the time, hurt all the time. <laughs> like that's that's not fun. I uh, I understand that. Um, you know, we kind of understand how that goes. And especially now that we're getting a little bit older ourselves, like it's, you know, you don't really like to feel that way all the time. Not at, not every day is like a perfect physical day where you're feeling hundred percent, like, you know, back when we were, you know, in our, in our upper teens and early twenties. Yeah. But, um, you know, obviously we wish him, we wish him the best in, in all the things that he's going to do. I'm sure he's going to do extremely well. 
um, in whatever he so chooses. 